running? Why are you running? Farah, the high flying rocket queen of Overwatch. Soaring through the air in her combat armor and armed with a launcher that lays down high explosive rockets, Farah is a force to be reckoned with. She's a character that has a huge impact for me as a gamer and artist when it comes to character design. Today, I'm going to talk about why this character has left so much for me to adore in terms of gameplay and her as a character. This is why I like Farah. Farah aka Faria Amari was born in Giza, Egypt. Her parents are Anna Amari and Sam. Her mom trained her to defend herself and her loved ones. So growing up, she was always surrounded by heroes who inspired her and that led her to be part of Overwatch. She wanted to become part of Overwatch, but her mother Anna didn't want that for her and that really affected the relationship as a mother and daughter. So later on, Farah found out that her mother died, quote unquote. And after that, Farah got a tattoo that was kind of like Anna's, uh, I think it's called a Horus Eye. And then she joined the Egyptian army because of her hard work through all that. She was a brave and loyal leader. So basically a Gryffindor. <laughs> Whatever, but Overwatch during that time had fallen before she even got the chance to join it. So she left the army and she got a new job, which was to defend an artificial intelligence research facility beneath the Giza Plateau. And she was given an experimental combat suit designed for rapid mobility and devastating firepower, her Raptor system, her rocket suit in the game. Later on though, she finds out that her mother, Anna, is alive and they reunite. And now that she's uh, para, she's part of Overwatch with the good decision of her mom, Anna. Someone who worked at Blizzard was heavily inspired by tribes and I'm glad they were, because they really made a nice character that, for me, stands out in the Overwatch roster, because of her spiky design. In Farah's early designs though, the character was originally going to be male. He kind of reminds me of Wilbur from Animal Crossing, and I would love to see this design of early Farah someday, like more of this design of what could have been. The way they thought about the design of Farah is, for me, very brilliant. Her suit with her tough persona suits her very well. I like how sharp and straightforward her design for her suit is. The visor makes her really look mysterious and the blue is a nice shade to contrast with the yellows. And her suit reminds me of the Marines from StarCraft, the StarCraft 2 units specifically. And Really, her design screams, yes, I can fly really fast and I can look badass while doing it. When I first saw Farah a few years ago, I really thought she was a guy. The mysterious look of her visor and upright stance was really cool and I asked a friend who was playing Overwatch, because I didn't get to play it before. I asked him uh, if I could play the bird dude, uh, if I ever got into Overwatch, and he was like, oh you mean Farah? <laughs> Yo, she's a girl. And I was really surprised actually, I, I thought, Yo, this girl looks so strong, she looks so cool, and damn, I think of her as a girl, uh, as her character, is so much better, and it really like, gave me this, uh, like this, damn, like 
This I'm just really. She's a really good character. Jen Cohn is the voice actor of Farah, and I personally think she did a great job on voicing the Rocket Queen. I love the energy and effort she puts in making Farah as a strong and determined person when it comes to her voice lines in the game. You can feel like she's an actual leader or an actual shot caller when Farah's actually doing good in the game. And in a sense, you can feel how dominant she is when she's fragging or when she's moving around around the map. Vara is a more on the ambush playstyle of Overwatch as a DPS. You'll always find her flying over a map and being in the weird spots in higher ground. And you have to be all up in the air, striking every good chance with your rocket launcher. The power of Vara is when she's in the air, of course. Her maneuverability. And when it comes to her damage, it's splash damage and it's also based on movement with her kit. Like, She's the real justice from above when you're doing your job right, right? Disappointing. You also get to use your surroundings even more just from how she's able to use big walls or buildings to her advantage when she's flying. Farah, in my opinion, is one of the most fun characters I've played in a hero shooter. But when I first played her, I thought she'd be too difficult in trying to move or m navigate through a map. But when you actually do play Farah, and when I first played Farah, I felt like I was actually a living jet. Being able to move so fast and be so high up in the air map or in the air, it's just so much fun. Like you're THE Rocket Queen, and Farah with her rocket launcher is just pure chaos in the game. There's explosions everywhere. So some extra details about Farah and why I love her is that just herself in the game. Farah's skins and her lines all represent her in a very respectable way and really bring out what is so good with the character herself. All in all, I just really think Farah is a really enjoyable character to play, a really enjoyable character to like and follow. There's so many good art of her, there's so many good supporters of uh, Farah in the whole community of Overwatch. I love the characters who interact with her, who play a majority of how Farah is in the game, like a Mercy or an Ana. Like, Far is just that good as a character, and I hope to see more of her in Overwatch 2. This has been Why I Like Farah. Hello, this is the editor. We'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions about Farah. Is she hot? Or is she cold because she spawn kills you over and over resulting in pain and insanity on the inside and now you have the urge of wanting to quit the game? Let us know in the comments section down below.